This is so cool. It gets so much better, Mr. Cabot. Believe me. Uh, I, I, I didn't believe you the first time, John. Ah, this is the abuse I'm paying for. We all have our doubts, John. But we want to believe. We just need assurances. What's it like seeing a dinosaur for the first time? Oh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the early days of a new romance. It's fascinating and exhilarating uh, until the fangs and the claws come out. It's definitely a profound moment. It made an impression on me. Let's put it that way. This is why Jurassic Park must succeed, Dr. Grant. I want the world to have that same profound memory. You know, I could do without uh, some of the memories of this place. That's precisely why I asked you all to take this journey again. Had you been part of the process earlier, perhaps our first time around would have been different. A mistake I'm correcting. We're giving you a chance to prove it, John. More importantly, we're giving these dinosaurs a chance to live in harmony with the modern world. Hmm. However tenuous and unwise that may be. I'm going to prove it to you all. And Dr. Malcolm, I'm going to prove you wrong. First time for everything, I suppose. As you can imagine, everything is a wee bit of a muddle on Isla Nublar, so we'll have our work cut out for us. Yes, a, a return to the scene of the crime, as it were. What crime would that be? Uh, hubris, John. Something that'll hopefully be managed a little more thoroughly this time. I admit that I may have been too enthusiastic, and that it may, may have led to blind spots. That's why I've brought young Cabot Finch along with us. So, uh, what kind of science are you studying, Cabot? Uh, business. Business? Oh, great. The last thing we need more of. After reviewing everything with Mr. Hammond, we'll need to start by placing an arrival point. Then, we can restore the core facilities and get a ranger outpost up and running. We? Well, you, actually, Dr. Grant, and Dr. Sattler, and Dr. Malcolm. Much to do, but it sounds easy enough. You really are new to this, aren't you, Finch? Nervous to be back, Dr. Grant? You know, the last time I was here, I left in kind of a hurry. And I want to make absolutely sure what happened isn't repeated ever again, so I've returned reluctantly. On the positive side of the ledger, it's a chance to work with living dinosaurs. Does that paint a clearer picture for you? Completely, Dr. Grant. And Mr. Hammond seems pretty confident we can get everything working as designed and intended. Confidence is not something John Hammond lacks. Competence, however, is... is something I pride myself in, Dr. Grant. We'll need to repair the geothermal power station to start. Okay, once that is done, we can focus on the visitor center. Repaired and powered, it should give us a solid base of operations. You know, I was reluctant to come back here for for obvious reasons, but then I realized that I was even more reluctant to stay away because nature would take its course as it always does. I felt the same. Still, there's no denying this is the single most important place on Earth right now, perhaps ever. Perhaps, but uh, what of Dr. Grant? He and I are a team, through thick and thin, you know? Yes, yes. Yes, still, um, chaos, Dr. Sattler. Um, chaos has me contemplating whether we can actually 
make things better or just delay the inevitable. It all comes down to responsibility. The last time we were here, we were Hammond's guests. This time, we're more like partners. Now we have the knowledge and the means to make a change. Ambitious, Dr. Sattler, that's ambitious, but uh, you know, I do like the uh, sentiment. Good, I'll need a research module added to the visitor center. Then we can get a look at the different fencing available. Let's add an emergency bunker to that list as well. I mean, you know, we've both experienced how effective fences have been in the past. Mr. Hammond is very concerned. We're getting reports of staff injuries. Velociraptors. Okay, we have to get them enclosed in the raptor pen. Aren't you an expert on raptors, Dr. Grant? Uh, I think that it'd be fair to say that uh, raptors and Dr. Grant have uh, history. Devoting your life to the study of an animal means accepting the harsh truth that it would try to kill you if you ever came face to face with it. You did come face to face with it. Which was impossible before Jurassic Park. So that had to count for something. It did. It counted for a lot of sleepless nights. Collecting asset. Setting additional task. So our goal now is get everything under control, right? Control? No. No, no, Finch. The best you can hope for on Isla Nublar is uh, uh, managed chaos. Okay? And that is why you are here, Dr. Malcolm. So, n not my sparkling personality, then? We just need Jurassic Park manageable, chaos and all. Then we can think about larger plans. John, Alan and I still really aren't comfortable opening the park to tourists. That is kind of an understatement. I understand your sentiment and your concerns, but all in due course. And I do seem to remember seeing the public at your dig site in the Badlands. Charged them, didn't you? Those donations helped fund our research. As did I. For which we are grateful. But it's really no different than what we are doing here at Jurassic Park, Dr. Sattler. Just on an admittedly much grander scale. Yeah. It's still going to take a while to properly organize and restore the scientific data. Dr. Wu left behind a ton of material. After Nedry's sabotage, it's a miracle we have anything to work with. True. But between the storm, the dinosaurs, and whatever Nedry did to the computers, the records and documentation are a mess. But you think it can be done? If we can make dinosaurs, then we should be able to sort paperwork and organize computer files. Can we make dinosaurs? Or are these just impressive replicas? You know what I could use? Pictures of the dinosaurs. I'll get together a list of specific photos that I need. Ne I 
Nice! I'm adding this one to my collection. All life has two instinctual impulses that no amount of tinkering or engineering by mechanism. Which is what, exactly? Although the world is in a constant state of chaos, certain events can be predicted because they happen repeatedly regardless of the initial conditions. And an organism trying to perpetuate its DNA would be one of those. Or maybe it's the tropical island paradise setting. You know, works for, uh, works for newlyweds. You know, it could also be the food. Yeah, perhaps, but considering what some of the dinosaurs have consumed, let's hope not. Do these ranger team ride-alongs? You know, for you, Finch, I, I believe they'd make it. Resolved. We've identified some residual flaws in the park operations software. I wonder how they got missed the first time around. You, you've plugged the holes though, right? There's some new counter espionage software. It just needs final testing. Keep people out of our business. Mr. Hammond would also like to make sure the dinosaurs are secure and comfortable. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Right. Right, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's the most common and least true words spoken at uh, Jurassic Park. No problem. Asset requiring collection. Asset collection request received. Heading to collect the asset. Heading to pick up the asset. Adding to the list. Asset in transit. Asset delivered. Transit has commenced. En route to pick up the asset. I'm satisfied with the latest reports on park security. Now, we can move on to the next great challenge, the dinosaurs. For that, we'll have to journey to the companion island, Isla Son.
we call it Site B. Originally a massive holding pen and secondary research facility for our dinosaurs. Spared no expense. Didn't want to keep all your eggs in one incubator, huh, John? Aye, that is certainly one way to look at it. And another way, John? Yeah, it's also about the diversity of the environment. In other words, you weren't sure they'd survive on Isla Nublar. Darwin's most famous works were centered on species he studied on the Galapagos Islands. Isolated. It also has the benefit of keeping our work away from prying eyes. Yeah, and making potential rescue uh, like thousands of miles away. Always the negative with you, Dr. Malcolm. 